guys, welcome back to my channel. Today you can probably tell that I'm actually wearing a dressing gown and I'm not wearing normal clothes because today's video is all about giving yourself the best self-pampering night possible. Can I just point out, I just filmed this whole video and I went back and looked at it and the camera was completely out of focus the whole way through. So I'm really, really hot, really, really tired, really, really irritable and really, really upset because the first one went really, 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 really well. And now I'm scared this one isn't gonna go as well, but let's give it a go anyway. So I'm just gonna run through all of the steps to give you guys a really good self-pampering night. This doesn't include anyone else. It's not a girl's night. It's literally just you, a bath, a face mask, TV, chill night, okay? So yeah, let's get started. The first step is take off all of your makeup. Make sure that your skin is like bare. There's no makeup there. It just clogs up your skin. And also when you're trying to relax, makeup is not the thing that you need. It just makes you feel like you wanna get up and go and you're ready for the day. And that's not what we're trying to achieve here. So take off all of your makeup, every single last bit of it. And that brings me on to my next step. Run yourself a really nice hot bath. In this bath, you need water, obviously. <laughs> you need bubbles. You can get this stuff that actually relaxes you like muscle relaxant and it's really good it comes in the form of like body bath so yeah maybe grab some of that and put that in your relaxing baths light some candles make the lights dim just make it look really soothing and relaxing in there and that vibe will kind of rub off on you in no time get your laptop and put on your favorite tv show or put on your favorite youtube video preferably one of mine um and just watch it literally just chill in the bath do nothing don't go on your phone, literally just watch whatever you're watching and just lay, just completely relax. Make your body like a dead weight, but not too much of a dead weight because then you'll fall in the water and you don't want that. Another thing you need when you're having a really, really hot bath is a cold iced glass of water. There is nothing worse than having a really hot bath or shower and getting too hot and not being able to cool yourself down. I get really anxious when that happens, like really panicky and I end up having to get out of the bath and it's just ruined the whole thing for me. So make sure you have a really nice cold glass of water where you can just cool yourself down as and when you need it. So yeah, just relax in there for 10 minutes and then obviously after those 10 minutes are up, just wash yourself, do what you'd usually do in the bath and then relax for another five minutes because you don't want to get out of the bath all like, right, I'm washed, I'm ready to go. You want to get out feeling kind of sluggish, but not sluggish, like just feeling a bit like, oh if that makes any sense. Make sure there's a really nice, clean, washed towel waiting for you when you get out of the bath. It's a really, really nice feeling just wrapping it around you and drying yourself with something that you feel like isn't putting more dirt back onto your skin. So I know it sounds like a minor, minor thing, but it makes a really big difference when you're trying to feel relaxed. Grab your favorite body lotion or body cream, whatever you like to call it, and literally just apply it everywhere apply it all over your body apart from your face after that put on your favorite pajamas or something really really comfortable it doesn't necessarily have to be like your matching pajamas um, but it could be like a shorts and a vest top or thin joggers and a vest top or anything just try and avoid like onesies and stuff like that because they're so hot and they make you feel a little bit claustrophobic sometimes when you're trying to relax when you've got your pajamas on you can probably paint your toenails and your nails now, some of you, your toenails and nails might already be done. So this isn't like a compulsory step, but it's just something that makes me feel really clean, really prepped, ready to go, if they're not already done. Try and use like really nice, calm colors as well, like a baby pink or a lilac or something. Nothing like too bright, because then you're just like looking at bright colors and you're like, whoa. After this, grab yourself a face mask if you have one and put it all over your face and literally just lay there for 15 minutes while the face mask is drying. And you can even put like cucumbers on your eyes. Literally just lay, whether it be on your bed, whether it be on the sofa. I sometimes just literally like lay on the floor. Well, I have a sofa in my vlogging room now, so I don't that much anymore, but you can just lay on the floor, just lay somewhere and just relax, just no phones, no anything. Just maybe put a tiny bit of like nice soothing music on. But other than that, just lay there with your face mask and your cucumber on your eyes. Don't talk, don't let anyone talk to you. Just chill. When your face mask is completely dry, take it off and thoroughly wash your face. Make sure every single little bit is out there. Otherwise it's just going to sit in there and collect dust. And I know that's really gross, but that is evidently what the face does. It just we kind of just put things on our skin that 
aren't natural for them to be there. So we need to make sure that when we take them off, we take them off completely. Otherwise that's when you get like spots and stuff like that. And it's just not needed. Like it can really be avoided. This is where we kind of go into our skin routine. Now I'm really gonna be brief with mine because I wanna do a separate video really detailed about my skincare routine. So grab your face wash, make sure you scrub everywhere all around here, all down your neck, all in your hairline, everywhere that dirt can be just sitting, waiting to be dirty. And then grab your cleanser and your cotton wool pads and just cleanse your face gently just down here, 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 here and here. And that's kind of all you really need to do with that. And then get your favourite face cream and put literally just enough like a 5p coin in your hand. Rub it all over your face. Make sure you get into these bits because they're the bits that kind of get dry. After you've done all of this, go downstairs and get yourself a herbal tea or a detox tea if you've got a detox tea really really good if you've got a herbal tea still really really good not a lot of people like to drink detox tea so get yourself a herbal tea like a fruit one i really like the blackberry and the blueberry ones or if you don't like any of that or you don't have any of that just make yourself a normal cup of tea just to make sure you don't have any coffee because this will get you really riled up, ready to go, will get your brain really working and that's not what you want. You want something to relax you and wind you down. When you've made your tea, make sure it's still really hot when you sit on the sofa. Don't grab yourself a blanket because you'll make yourself way too hot and you'll start sweating. But equally, don't let yourself sit there really, really cold. So it kind of depends on the room temperature of your house. I have a really hot house so I never have to sit there with blankets on but some people have really cold houses, so that one's just kind of for you guys to determine depending on the house that you live in. And once you're comfy and all snuggled up on the sofa or in your bed or wherever you wanna get snuggled up, turn the TV on or turn your laptop on and again, just watch your favorite program or watch your favorite YouTuber or something, something that makes you guys happy. You don't want to sit there and watch something that's not going to make you happy. Like, I'd advise to stay away from like gory films and violent films and stuff like that. You kind of just want something easy watching. You can just sit there and enjoy something that makes you laugh or makes you cry. Not something that makes you all riled up and scared and stuff like that. After a couple of hours of watching TV or watching YouTube, I would suggest just taking yourself to bed. There's nothing better than getting an early night, waking up in the morning refreshed, rejuvenated and ready for the day ahead. So when you go to bed, maybe light yourself some candles, put yourself like an incense on or something, but just remember, do not leave the candles burning because that is so, so dangerous. So after 15 minutes of laying in bed when you're just laying on your phone and stuff, just blow them out. Get yourself completely ready for bed, do whatever you have to do, lay in bed, and after this point, don't touch your phone again. Put it on the floor, put it on charge, put it wherever it needs to go for you guys not to touch it again. Because if you're laying there all night on your phone, and I am the world's worst for it, if you're laying there all night on your phone, and you're on Twitter and Instagram and on group chats and stuff like that, then your mind is just constantly going, like, oh my God, what's going on? What can I read? What's going on with so-and-so? and stuff like that. So don't touch your phone again after this point unless you obviously really, really, really need to. So unfortunately we've come to the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's quite different to what I've usually done before. I've never done this kind of thing, but I'll definitely do it more often if you guys enjoy it. If you did like the video, then please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll leave in the description below my other channel links. So don't hesitate to go over there and check out those channels as well. I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching and I love you lots. Bye.